when the villa of the papyri was destroyed by Vesuvius in the year 79, that library was preserved inside it, where it was discovered 250 years ago. Over the two and a half centuries since the Herculaneum scrolls were discovered, there have been numerous attempts to unroll and read them. And as you can see here, with varying levels of success, every time someone tries to do this, it results in destruction. Nobody has attempted a physical unrolling of any of the Herculaneum scrolls now for 20 years, but what we can do is go back to these fragments that have been unrolled and apply modern technology to them. And there's been an astonishing recent breakthrough. Valeria Piano is a researcher in classical philosophy at the University of Florence. A few years ago, she was studying fragments from one particular Herculaneum scroll in the National Library of Naples. Valeria was trying to identify the author of the scroll. I can't imagine where you'd even begin. I'm looking at this and it just looks so charred. It seems impossible that you would be able to actually read anything on this. It's very, very difficult. You have to reconstruct a physical model of the ancient role. Little pieces like a puzzle. What methods do you use to look at that writing? Because obviously with the naked eye, we can't see anything. Yeah. With a microscope, actually, you, microscope. Can, yeah, you yeah. can read it. And the light is very important because it is a burnt papyrus. So yeah. it depends yeah. from the angle from which the light touches the papyrus that you can see better or worse, the, the ink. Yeah. And then there are many images produced with infrared light right. that are essential. So you read more ink than you normally can do with visible light. So digital imaging is, is transforming our ability to, to read these open scrolls mm -hmm. as well. It's bringing together literature and science, archeology span and history in a really exciting way. 